And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our uh, legacy journey as we continue here in beautiful Clearwater, Florida, with my main man, Ash Cash. This is Ricky, your singing world coach. And I'm so glad to be here with my brother today. We consider this brother, he is the voice amplifier, mm. one of the one of the most prolific interviewers in the world. Oh, I love that. And takes you take your stuff to a whole other level. Just, I love had, that. A, just had a seven million dollar day with a couple of his colleagues. Ash Cash, so glad to be with here with you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you, again, mastermind, brother. Could yes, you please sir. just tell us a little bit about how did you get into to the interview business? You are such. A scroller of a man and a woman's mind. You know, to, you know how to come in and scrape the mind and bring the best out of a human being so that they can get the most benefit from being on your show. Yeah. Man, how did you become such a discoverer of men? Man, so uh, it's funny. So, I, you know, I um, I started my career as a banker. So I was, I'm a 15-year banking executive. So I actually started straight out of high school. Uh, I was a teller, personal banker, private banker. I've managed money for, for wealthy individuals. Uh, most of my life, um, cre you know, I was a CEO of a credit union, branch manager. I did a lot in banking. Um, one of the most important things that I learned that from being a banker uh, was I had to learn how to interview. I had to learn how to talk to wealthy people uh, to figure out where the money is, right? And so if you understand the banking world is that when somebody comes to your bank, they come in and they say, you know, I know what I want. I, I want a mortgage. I want a checking account. I want this thing. But in the back of my mind, I know you have more money, right? So if you're looking for a certain amount of, you know, mortgage or if you're depositing a hundred thousand in a bank account, that's not where all your funds is. And so I had to find a way uh, to be able to ask un an uncomfortable question sure. uh, because they didn't come here for me to ask them where the money is. They came in to, you know, to give me what they want to give me. Um, and so I had to learn how do I. Um, ask questions in a way to benefit the client um, and get all the information. And so I didn't know, right, that God was preparing me to, you know, for to, to be a podcaster, to uh, to be an interviewer, to be able to speak with wealthy individuals. Right? Like, think about that. That's what I do. Inside the vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Mm -hmm. I sit with multi-millionaires. And I asked them about how did they become a multimillionaire. And so not only am I asking you how much money you have, I'm also asking you how did you actually make that money? Sure. Uh, and, and so it was the banking world that, that prepared me for it, uh, that got me to the space of being able to, I'm comfortable, I don't care who, like I'll sit with Barack Obama you know, and, 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 and be able to ask that question because you know I realized that my, um, you, you alluded to this earlier that you know, you know, I'm a voice amplifier. I realize that that's my purpose in life. Sure. Um, that God put me through um, a specific set of circumstances, right? Uh, single parent home, grew up in the projects, uh, kicked out of school four times, wow. um, couldn't couldn't get into college, so I had to go to a community college, right? So, you know, play with, you know, with gun, like all of the things that statistically should have landed me dead or in jail by the age of 21. By 24, I am a VP at one of the largest financial institutions on the planet. So God, you know, God did, God did, right? Mm -hmm. God, did he do you it? know, you know, did he do specifically it? put me through, um, you know, these, these, these circumstances in order for me to be a credible messenger to people who may have excuses. Right, and so I'm amplifying. I'm a voice amplifier, but I'm I'm specifically uh, amplifying the voice of the underdog, come on. the person that is finding that excuse. Well, I didn't come from this. Oh, I didn't have this. I didn't have that. Well, I am. I have this this, this acronym that I say that I am greatness on display. Come on, right? G O D, yes, greatness sir. on display. Let's go. So if we're made in the image and likeness of God, come on. then if God is the greatest, then I'm greatness. Yes, sir. And so. What is greatness for? Greatness is to display that greatness. Yes, sir. So this G-O-D, me, greatness on display, God has given me this situation so I can become greater and greater and greater so I can display that greatness to show you that you have greatness, to show you who's watching that you have greatness, yes, to show anybody yes, who has any doubt in their mind. Oh, you about to get me inside the phone. Let's go, let's go. Anybody who has any doubt in their mind about what they can be, do, or have on this earth, you will know that 
You are greatness on this planet, and, that, and, that, and that's what God told you to do, to amplify those voices. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. So it sounds like you said, nobody greater. So it sounds like you're saying you took the greatest. Yes. Who is God, of course. Yes. And you allow him to transfer that greatness into you. You Absolutely. allow him to. Absolutely. And then you're saying, so you feel like that you're kind of doing greatness. It sounds like you're saying that you are kind of doing it for grace. Let a person know that they absolutely can do it. And from any kind of humble beginnings, yeah, because you came straight from the streets, yeah, and they don't matter how that thing happens. And, I, and, and, I, and I, I don't want the people to miss out on this word that you just used, right? You said I allowed it. Yeah. Because we all have greatness in us. Yes, sir. The, that's, the, that's, the, that's the key right there, right? Abundance is your birthright. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. So you were born great, but a lot of us are so, our uh, circumstance, our community, whatever it is, we are not allowing our greatness. And so all you gotta do is be. We gotta stop doing, right? We're trying to figure out, yo, what do I have to do to access my greatness? All you gotta do is be. be come on, just be that thing. Just be. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 when, and when you allow yourself to be, be who? Be who God created you to be. Yes, sir. Right, there's only one rip. I don't care. I don't care who you are, where you come. I don't care how you try to mimic. There's only gonna be one Rick. There's only one Ash Cash. Yes, sir. Fortunately, I'm not even gonna say unfortunately. Fortunately, right. there's only one you. That, that means there's no competition because God, because God made you perfect, big brother. God made you perfect. God perfectly, right? Said, you know what? Oh, there you go. We're gonna create a scheme. We're gonna create a, a, we're gonna create this person yes, for sir. this particular assignment that only this person can do. Come on. Come but on. what happens is when we're trying to be somebody else, that's how we're living in hell. Come on, come on. Right? Come on. We're trying to be something else that God didn't tell us to be. Come on. We're hiding, we're trying to fix who we naturally are. Do you believe I got you know what I got, I got kicked out of school for yelling? Really? I'm a seven-figure entrepreneur from Yellen. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Let's go. Hey, tell me this. Tell me this. Now, you have an a, a amazing show. Yes, thank you. It's a financial. It's about finances. Yeah. And uh, but you, but you, people come onto your show who are doing good. Yes. But after they get to talking to you, they're doing. Phenomenal. Ooh. I mean, you are. You have amazing production. Yes. You tell people you know, and you just had a seven million dollar day for somebody coming on your show recently. What do you say to the person that's doing pretty good already, yeah. but they want to go to another level? Yeah. Why would they? How is that even possible yeah. by coming on your podcast? What's so unique about what you guys are doing that's making so much hay? Because I see some spectacular productivity. Yeah. yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think. You know, as a voice amplifier. Um, what I would tell anybody is uh, just continue to be who you are, um, lead with right pleasing God, number one, and then also serving people. A lot of people who desire to be, you know, even on my show or on any other big platform, a lot of them are leading with serving themselves, right? They're like, oh, I want, yo, let me, let me go, let me get on your show. I have a story. I want to tell my story, or I, have, I want to promote my business, um, and that's not the, what the platform is for. Um, for me, you know, what I look for is somebody who has a story, but a story of triumph, right? Uh, but then also from that story of triumph, do they have a product or service that can bless my my audience, that can serve my people? Um, and you know, in fact, those who have done very well um, on my show, meaning they come on the show. Um, they have an offer, um, they have a product or service that, um, you know, my audience needs. Um, and, you know, you know, once they get on the show now, they are introduced to millions of people. And that introduction to millions of people convert uh, into, you know, people taking them up on their offer. Um, and then their business, you know, growing exponentially uh, based on that visibility that we give. So. You know, I would tell anybody, um, really just be authentically who you are. Uh, don't try to switch up. Don't try to be like somebody else. Um, you know, be who you are. Be be the best also, uh, because I think that, that that's what pe people so, are so focused on, uh, trying to be cookie cutter, uh, that they that they don't, they don't focus on developing themselves. And when they develop themselves and you're the best, uh, you, you know, like, like uh, your energy's not gonna lie. When you sit across somebody and they 
are, you know, listening to you and they hear you interview, they'll know, you know, if you are the best or if you are who you say you are, um, and that attraction is what's going to get, you know, get them that that level of success. So for me, um, it's really just you know using my platform to give them access, but the rest is on you, yeah, yeah. right? He, like like my brother Troy from EYL says. Information on me, application on you. Yes, sir. Right, I'm, and, and, and for me, I, I'll give you, I'll give you the platform. The rest of you gotta perform, right? Like, like I got shows that 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 did five thousand views, but I got shows that did almost half a million views, right? So, it you know the platform is the platform. But when when the cameras are on, are you leading, right? Are you pleasing God, and are you serving the people? Yes, sir. You know, Grandmama said every tub, she used to say every tub got a son. So it sounds like what you're saying is that people need to have a mental scrubber and a heart scrubber so that they can be the best that they can be before they even start trying to get exposed because whatever whoever they are, they're going to get exposed. Absolutely. Whoever, whoever they really are. And being here in this beautiful place with Myron Gold and these wonderful entrepreneurs today and just being around people like yourself, for me, it's, it's amazing. It's refreshing. What do you say to people about the fact that they really just need to get around people who will challenge them? Give them a mental scrubbing and how 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 have you been blessed here this weekend, uh, at least a couple of days I should say, and this amazing group of people here in Myron Golden's camp. Uh, how has that helped you in your own pursuit of being a radio center? Yeah, oh no, I mean that it, it, it's it's absolutely been a game changer. I would tell anybody who's afraid to invest in themselves, like that that's actually a cheat code. Right? So prior cheat to code. it's Come a cheat code, on. right? Like, you know, they, they, they say you're the average of, of, of the five people you spend the most time with. Um, and so if you're the top of the bottom, that's, a, that's, what, that's what a lot of us are, right? A lot of us are the top of the bottom. We get to a certain level of success and we're happy at that level of success. And so we become the top of the bottom, right? And the bottom, not, not saying we're better than anybody else, meaning the bottom of the level of success where we, ha you know, we haven't surrounded ourselves with people who believe in themselves or who attain a certain level of success. And so being in this environment is what pushed me, right? To be able to, uh, you know, you know, you know, with partners create a multi-million dollar day, right? Not a year, a multi-million dollar day, because prior to that, I was just, I was just comfortable, you know, you know, being a seven-figure earner. Like, oh, yeah, I made seven figures in my business. I'm from the, look, I'm from the projects, you know. I'm from, the, I'm from, I'm from the Saint Nicholas projects in New York. We, we, our goal was six figures. So, so I'm like, yo, 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 yo like, I, yo, I, like, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a six-figure entrepreneur. So I was cool. So when God got me to seven, I'm like, oh, I'm lit, lit. I did ten. Look, I did ten times what I'm supposed to do, right? What I'm supposed to do. But then I get in a room and people are like celebrating a million. They made a, you made a million dollars in one day. Let's go. I said, oh, let's go. Not, not even, not, not even. I, I said, yo, you made. You made six figures, and that was my first goal, I'll be honest, right? You know, my first goal was like, yo, I make six figures in a day. And then, you know, as you start being around people and you start borrowing from people's beliefs, that's what I did. Woo! Um, Say that again? I started borrowing from people's beliefs. I'm, I'm in a room, and my, so I paid six figures to be in this room. Borrow belief. Yo, borrowing belief is the best thing you can do because you can be, have, or do anything you want. Anything you believe. And so if I can be, have, or do anything I believe, and I don't believe, then let me just borrow somebody else who does believe. And so, and so when I'm in a room with, you know, you know, that I pay six figures to be in, uh, with somebody who's coaching other entrepreneurs to have seven, you know, six and seven figure days, I say, you know what, let me just borrow belief. So the first few times I was in the room, I'm just watching other people who are having these successes. Uh, and I'm just following the blueprint. I'm borrowing a belief, and I'm like, you know what? I can do it. And then eventually, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, your life and death is in the power of the tongue, but faith without works is dead. And so I spoke into existence first, and then I had the faith, and then I had to create the action afterwards, and now, you know, you're sitting, you're sitting here looking at somebody who has been able to generate multi-millions of dollars in a single day, um, and this is just the beginning. Yes, sir. Because now, and this is this is why you get in the room. Because now, if 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 I if I join a mastermind, you know, in February, and then 
months later, my belief has shifted. Now, what, what, what do you think happened with my belief? I don't just be like, all right, that's it. I'm not saying, whoa, if I could do, make, what, what if I could do 25 million? Sure. That's what about 100 million? That's possible. What, you know what? Can I be a, bi a billionaire? Can I create a billion dollar company? So now my, my mind is stretched. Um, and so this is just the beginning, you know what I'm saying? So in God's will, um, I'm going to keep stretching my mind, keep stretching that belief system. Um, and then when you, you know, you're going to be looking at billionaire ass, you know what I'm saying? And so now, you know, um, anybody who came from the projects who ever wants to become a multimillionaire can look at, look, look at me. I, I, I was a corporate guy. I never, you know, I, I played ball, but I never, you know, never, never got paid for basketball, rap, no, no entertainment. Um, and so a guy who just teaches entrepreneurship can become a multimillionaire. All right, there you go. Here's your blueprint. And then if, you know, not if, but when, if it's God's will, but when I become, you know, a hundred million dollar, a hundred millionaire, I don't know what you call those, but now I'll be that blueprint for that. And then when, when the Billy happens, then I'll be the, you know, I'll be the blueprint for that. Um, and then also help others, you know, increase their pace. That's the all right, you can tell, brother, that you have that you're on a mission to amplify, amplify yes. the voices of uh, ambitious. Yes, everybody who's got ambitious, who's got ideas and everything. I just want to know uh, how I get a pair of seventy-five thousand dollars glasses. Oh man, look, keep playing, keep playing with our emotions. Look, you see that? Yeah, you know, it, 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 it's what you do. What? You you start creating that belief system that you are premium. And you start realizing that if if you are premium and you and you live on being premium, then anything that's around you has to be premium as well. Let's go, let's go, man. I love you, man. Thank love you so you much for stopping by. Yes, Listen, everybody, it's been a fun, pleasing pleasure as well as a privilege. This is my man Ash Cash, the voice amplifier. You need what's the name of your show again? Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Ash Cash, the financial motivator. If you don't know, you know now. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> I just blow it up, dog. You blow it up. Hey, you guys, listen. I don't know when we see you again, but we're going to see you at the top. This is Rick. We're signing off right now from the mastermind here with Myron Gold and my main man, Ash Cash, blowing up the house. What a privilege to have you today. And you guys remember now that Stella is as Stella does. My brother, my brother, my brother. Talk to y'all soon.